Dober dan to all of you. I'm happy that you're here. And I'm happy that Kibla gave us the opportunity to have one full working day with you in what we think is a most important topic. How can we link new technologies to cultural content? That's something that my organization did a long, long time ago, already in the 90s. We tried to bring music to the mobiles. Uh, at that time, it was not possible because the main provider of mobiles, Nokia, didn't want to. Uh, we now know where it led them. So um, uh, they should have heard to us. So my idea is, listen what we can do for you or what you can do as as they had put it, the interface between technology and cultural content. And I need to tell another story. Uh, we work with Kibla for more than, I think, almost 15 years now, because my organization based in Brussels is very much oriented towards the technology people, towards SMEs, small and medium enterprises that develop apps or software or services. And Kibla was, for me, always the creative partner, because I never was saw so somebody or some organization who is as creative as Kibla. And exactly 10 years ago, I made a three-month stage here in Maribor, where I learned some very few words of Slovenian and a lot, a lot of the cultural environment here and of this ecosystem. And I still love it a lot. So having said this, let's see what we are doing today that could be interesting for you. We have here, we call it a bipolar world. We have on the one hand, techies, technologies that are used maybe in a total different context than culture or cultural heritage. And on the other hand, we have a lot of museums uh, that could benefit a lot from new technologies to make their collections more accessible, more interesting, more um, value, add more value to them. And we want to bring these two polars together. Now, I called it bipolar world, why? Because it's on the one hand very different, but a little bit like a magnet. It is also, uh, they attract each other. And only, uh, I think, when one uses this uh, dynamism, this dynamism between both worlds, uh, one can uh, unify them for the beauty of technology and the beauty of culture to make something new out of it for the, the benefit of both sides. Now, how do we define eCult ambassador? I think the, the word interface I liked a lot because uh, the idea is to have people that know both sides, the sides of culture, of content, of art, and how it works. And on the other hand, technologies, maybe not all type of technologies, but special technologies that you can then translate into the cultural language so that the museums understand what the opportunity would be. And on the other hand, you can understand the needs of these people, of the collector, of those owners of collections, and say, hey, there's a technology that you should use to attract, I don't know, to attract more young people, to attract more tourists, whatever. So you would be the person in knowledge of both sides and help them. Basically, the idea is what are the tasks of these interfaces, of these eCult ambassadors. On the one hand, is it's the dialogue, to create the dialogue, to be in between, and to tell uh, both, uh, both sides, okay, there are opportunity for both. Then, I think an important part is engage the people. Uh, you cannot say, this is a wonderful solution, just take it. No, won't work. You have to engage the people and see, see what they need, what they want, where, where they, their brain goes, where their, their vision goes, where their enthusiasm goes, and invite them to collaborate. And then you should find a strategy for these institutions, for these museums, because they need a strategy. Just using one technology without purpose, without knowing the target audience, without knowing who will ever use it, is not useful. And then you can give advice on the potential feasible solutions. This is why today you will get some success stories, examples in the morning, and some hands-on training in the afternoon. Now, the important part of this is definitely, I would like, no, well, sorry, like this, uh, to emphasize is this is a starting point. We have three days in front of us that are, I think, 
pretty exciting. Knowing Keebler, they will have a lot of surprises for us. They will also make us very active. And, but what comes next? On Friday, we go home, and, and, and what is then? I can tell you, if you're really interested to become part of our eCult Ambassadors community, we would like to interact with you. We are planning webinars where we present new technologies, maybe new success stories of the application of these technologies. We will uh, define use case scenarios online where you can have access, where you can see how technologies are used. And we would also like to showcase some of you of ACALT ambassadors who will have maybe already a success story or who will already have entered into contact with a museum uh, in an event that will take place end of November in Brussels together with another project of us. And we would like really to show you the ambassadors that have already started working in this direction. And we will have a second summer stage at the end of the year in Athens. And here we have our colleagues from Athens here that will look carefully what we do today and the next days. And they will be uh, planning the second uh, summer stage, actually winter stage then, uh, uh, at the Acropolis Museum in Athens. And in general, we would like to work together as the e ambassadors community. Uh, this idea, I just want to say, is not new. I was uh, 10 days ago in Tallinn at another dialogue day with museums where there were more than 50 museum representatives there. And we talked with a network, it's called the Creative Metropoles. And they have uh, already a community of cultural brokers. They call it brokers. But in the end, it's always the same. It's the interface of people that know technology, that know content, and they know how to put them together. So I th we, will, we are planning to work with these brokers together to enlarge our community for the benefit of all that will participate. Now, where can you find afterwards uh, more information? I really, really ask you to register there. It's, of course, everything for free. You register there, then you will become uh, in the group of, uh, in the community of ambassadors. You have the address here. Or you can contact me, you see my uh, email address. I will also distribute some of these nice postcards where you find all this information as well to take home. So, I think now I talked enough. Uh, thank you very much. This is just an introduction. I will be here today and tomorrow the whole time. So if you have more uh, interest in the project, want to know more about it, I'm not alone here. I have here one, two, three, four, five, and Dayan and the Kibler team, well, more than 10 people that can give you information about it. Thank you very much. Hvala lepa. Thank you.